Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the new office. I'm gonna show you guys more in an upcoming vlog and in like a full like office tour and everything very, very soon, but Here's a little snippet, I am finally done. It has taken so, so long. But first of all, uh, remember me? I feel like I've literally been gone off the internet for so, so long now. I've been like posting the odd bits here and there, but I've barely been posting on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, here, anywhere really. Uh, I kind of took like an impromptu sort of break. Uh, basically, while I was doing these offices, a lot of things happened. If you guys saw one of my recent vlogs, uh, my sister actually had a stroke and luckily it's been like a month or so now. Like, I don't know how the past month has flown by like that, but she's doing all right now. And thank you guys for all of your love and support and all of that. Uh, but yeah, that's just like one of the many things that have happened over the past month or so. It's been, it's been a lot. Uh, and it's nothing I necessarily need to like, it's nothing I necessarily need to talk to you guys about. Like, it doesn't benefit you, it doesn't benefit me or anything like that. It's nothing is changing. Like, I'm good, me and Ollie are still together. I know people always ask those questions. Like, everyone's everyone's doing all right. But it, yeah, life has just been very, very overwhelming for a multitude of reasons. But yeah, uh, let's, let's just pretend that the last month hasn't happened for both my benefit and then also just because I feel like it's all just been a bit like chaotic. Um, but I'm very, very excited to kind of get stuck in with almost like a fresh start. That's kind of how I feel like I'm treating this. Almost like a fresh start with everything. Like new office, new filming room. My headspace is a lot better despite the last month. Like even though I've been overwhelmed, I'm feeling good. Uh, I just need to take the plunge. So here I am taking the plunge. Bloop. But yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind the kind of casual setup right now. I'm literally filming with daylight. It is so hot outside as well. That's why I don't really have any makeup on because after this video, once I've edited it, I actually plan on editing this video outside because it is hot today. Um, so I'm just like, I'm just ready to sweat basically. And so I figured I would just come on, like I said, just au naturel or like as natural as my face kind of gets. Surprised I don't like melt in the sun at this point. Uh, but yeah, today I'm just gonna show you guys some of my favorite things that I've been loving recently. There's like a bit of skincare, some makeup, uh, hair products, there's a book. Oh yeah, I've read a whole book recently. What else have we got? Yeah, just like a bunch of different bits and pieces. So um, let's get into the video. I hope you're good. Uh, I hope you missed me. Don't tell me if you didn't. And let's get into the video. Oh God, this is, this is quicker than I thought. So the first product that I'm mentioning is something that I'm sure a lot of you guys are already very, very familiar with. If you're not, listen up. And they have very, very kindly sponsored this portion of the video, but it is a genuine favorite of mine. Like I never do that like weird ad thing where I pretend to like a product to like feature it in a favorite, or anything like that. You guys know I've been using this for so long now, like months and months. It is Skin and Me. And if you guys don't know about Skin and Me, it is basically a skincare product that is designed by Skin and Me's dermatology team specifically for you. This one's specifically made for me. That's why it's got my name on it. So basically the way that Skin and Me works is you go on their website. I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to check it out. And before we get into anything, I do have a pretty major discount code. I will put all the details on screen now and again down below. Basically, if you use my code on screen, you will get three months of Skin and Me for just $14.99, which is 40% off. And so yeah, basically the way that Skin and Me works is you answer a few questions, you send them a couple of pictures of your skin online, and they will make up your perfect skincare product. So if you have like fine lines, I don't know, say if you have dryness, you have spots, whatever, you let them know, and then a member of their dermatology team will actually design a product for your skin. So it's not gonna be just like this run of the mill product that you don't quite know what it's doing. The product that Skin and Me makes is designed for your skin, which I remember when I first heard about this kind of thing, I was like, that must be so expensive. And even without a discount code, it's not. But then again, like I said, with the discount code, you will get 40% off. So you will literally get three months of Skin and Me. So you'll get three of these for $14.99, which the way that like prices are these days, I think I just like spat on myself then. Let's ignore that. The way that prices are these days, I swear a Freddo costs like $14.99. But in all seriousness, like to get a skincare product with active ingredients that actually does good for your skin, so much more expensive than $14.99. And like I said, you gotta remember that's three months worth. So it's like, it's a good value for money. So basically anyway, let's talk about this tube here. So. So yeah, this is the new one that they sent to me recently. And the cool thing about Skin and Me is as your skin changes, as it kind of like gets better and improves from using this, your doser will actually change as well. And when you hit click, that is all you need. So you're not gonna use too much product. You're not gonna use too little. You literally have a month's worth of product 
in this tube here. And as you can see, it's just a cream. You apply it at night. That's pretty much the only thing you need on your skin. Apply it as your last step. And that is kind of all you need to do. It's just so handy. I'm actually going away this weekend and I'm gonna be taking this with me because it's, it's so easy to take. It's not gonna like smash or anything like that. So yeah, your daily dose gets delivered every single month with your name on it, nice and personalized. So it is a subscription service, but basically you can cancel or pause it whenever you want. It's not tricky to get out of. All the products are vegan, cruelty-free, all that good stuff. Even since my last video with Skin and Me, I've had so many of you guys message me since then being like, this is amazing. Like, you've been like thanking me for the discount code, like don't thank me, thank Skin and Me. But yeah, my Skin and Me Daily Dosa has and continues to be one of my favorites. Like I said, I've loved it for months and months and months now. And if you guys do wanna try it out for yourself, then you can use my discount code on screen now, which will get you three months for just $14.99, which is 40% off the normal price. So if you guys wanna try it out for yourself, I'll leave the link down below and also put all the details on screen down below as well. But yeah, love that. Should we talk about the book next? I read a book. I love reading when I get into it, but it's so hard to like keep my attention. Like I remember when I started reading the Hunger Games books, I was hooked, read through them all so quickly. And there's other books and I pick them up and I'm just like, it's just going in one ear and out the other. This book, however, I picked it up on a whim. I, I think I was in like Sainsbury's or something and I just fancied reading a book. I, I don't know what came over me, but it's the How to Kill Your Family book, which sounds a little bit menacing, but it's really, really good. It's not, it's not like brutal or anything like that. It's not like an actual instruction manual on how to kill your family. So my family members don't need to be worried or anything. But yeah, this is really, really good. I think I got it for like a fiver or something. So it's pretty affordable and obsessed with it. And I think this is actually the author's first ever book. She's called Bella Mackey. And it's just really, really good. I blitzed through this pretty quickly. Um, I don't wanna necessarily like give you guys any plot spoilers or anything like that, uh, but it says, they say you can't choose your family, but you can kill them. Uh, she's lost everything and she'll stop at nothing to get revenge. But actually that makes it sound like really dark and there's elements of it that are dark, but also elements of it that are quite funny and relatable in a way where like, you know, you, I haven't killed any members of my family. Hopefully you guys haven't either. Yeah, to be honest, whether you like books, even if you don't really like books that much, or even if you just get it on like Audible or something, this is really, really good. Highly recommend. Next is something that I know has been quite a hyped up product recently, and it's something that has been coming in very, very handy over the last few days, because as you can probably see from my skin, because this is actually a real tan for once. Uh, the sun's been out and I'm loving it. So this is the, what's it even called? It's the Garnier Over Makeup Super UV SPF. This is really, really great. I know I haven't been wearing that much makeup recently, but even this just is like a facial spray. It's SPF 50 and it stopped my face from getting like too burned or like any like dryness or anything like that. It's just really, really good. And I know so many people have been loving it over like a full face of makeup. It's a very, very fine mist. You can see there and it's just like, it's just cooling and it's not too much. It doesn't ruin like anything on your face or anything like that. It's not sticky, it's not overly oily or anything. It's just, it's worth the hype. I know a lot of people have been hyping it up and there's a reason. Oh, this is a good one. If you've been around for a while, you'll probably recognize this. I did an order with Beauty Pie again recently and I forgot how good this foundation was. I'm gonna do a full like testing Beauty Pie video again. Uh, I've, I've tried it like, I've, what? Words? I've tried out loads of products from Beauty Pie, but they have brought out so many since I last did a video. So there's gonna be a new video coming very, very soon. But yeah, I've tried this foundation out before, was obsessed with it, completely forgot about it because mine was like old and I think I like declassed it or something, but I got it again and it is so bloody nice. I think it's supposed to be like a dupe for the Giorgio Armani foundation. I might even prefer this. Like I love the Giorgio Armani one, now I've tried it but I do think I prefer this. It's the Great Skin Foundation, and I got this in the shade Light 300 Beige. And if you guys don't know how Beauty Pie works, I feel like it's gotten a lot of press recently. Uh, basically, it's like a membership, so you pay a little bit of money, and then you get essentially like high-end products for a more affordable price, and like they're just like drugstore prices, pretty much. So this is one of the things that I got, and I have been loving it. Like, I used it, I've only really worn makeup, not even like a full face, but I put a little bit of this on with like a bit of concealer, blusher, bronzer. Um, it's basically a full face, but you know what I mean? It's like not too much makeup for me and I love it. Held up really, really well in the heat. I'll like to show you guys something else in a second that I use to really help that. But yeah, love this if you haven't tried it. Beautify is great anyway, but this foundation, 
give it a go. So yeah, the product that I was using with the Beauty Pie Foundation is this spray here. It's from Illamasqua and it's their Hydra Setting Spray, but it's the matte finish one. If you guys saw the video, I tried this out and I, as you guys know, not really into the whole matte thing, but this is, I wouldn't even necessarily say it's like overly matte, but when I spray this on my face, it just like holds my makeup or even just like holds a little bit of concealer, anything like that. It just keeps your skin looking it like stops any like excess oil, which is again, great in this weather. Stops excess oil, keeps stuff on your face and it's just really, really great. Like, I don't know how else to kind of sell it to you. It's just, it's just a really, really great product. And don't be fooled by the whole matte finish thing because I've tried matte like setting sprays in the past and they've just made me feel like I've had hairspray on my face. This isn't like that at all. It's just very hydrating, but also just makes your skin look very kind of like satin matte and not sweaty basically. Stops you looking sweaty. Like we like glowy, not that into the whole sweaty look and this kind of stops it. So yeah, loving that as well. Okay, this product, you can tell I have been loving this. I've used quite a lot in a short space of time. This is from Iconic London and this is their prep set and tan. You may have seen me use this on my Instagram a couple of times. Oh my God, it's so good. Like I obviously, like I said, I have like a natural tan and everything like that. My face doesn't tan anywhere near as much as my body does. Obviously I like slather myself in SPF and everything. This has been giving me such a nice glow. Like I'll see if I can maybe show you like on my chest. But basically, if you guys have seen the prep set and glow, it's kind of like a similar situation to that. So it's got little pearls in there, but this actually tans your skin. So it looks nice and glow from the get go, but over like around eight hours or so, I think it's like three to eight hours, you'll start to develop a tan. They have two different shades. This is the glow one. So it's a slightly darker one, but it's not like it, it works on literally like any skin tone. So give myself a couple of sprays. It smells really good. And then you get a brush as well. You don't have to have the brush, but it is very, very useful. And I'm just gonna blend that in if I end up missing a spot and get a patch of tan, it's your guys' fault. But yeah, just blend that in. And hopefully you can see, it makes you look glowy anyway, but this will actually develop over time as well. And it just looks golden. Doesn't look patchy, doesn't make you look weird, doesn't like sit in your pores, anything like that. It's just, it's really, really great. Uh, you can use this like all over your body. Obviously it's not like the hugest uh, bottle in the world, but um, Iconic London. I feel like you should make like a five litre bottle of this so I can just like bathe in it one day. Next, let's talk about this. What What is this? This is by the brand Sarah Chapman and I actually have, I didn't even realize this is a thing. Okay, let me start from the beginning. So I get TMJ. I basically clench my jaw a lot um, you guys probably never really see it when I'm like doing videos or anything like that. I grind my teeth in my sleep. It's like a stress kind of thing, which I've been doing a lot recently. And I just like, I bite down on my jaw a lot. I actually get Botox for it sometimes. I don't get it too often, but when it gets like kind of bad, I get some Botox to sort of alleviate it a little bit. This though has been very, very helpful. So you might find that a little bit of concealer comes off on this, but basically whenever I feel like my jaw is being clenched too much, I just do this and it just relaxes my jaw a little bit and I do it before bed, in the morning, just whenever I kind of fancy it to be honest and it just like massages this part of my jaw here which like if you, if you clench your teeth together it's like the muscle that sticks out and this bit and sometimes I'll literally just like leave it on there for a minute because I'm, I just want it to just be like smushed. Uh, but this has been really helping with the pain, the discomfort, because basically when you clench your jaw too much as well, it gives me like neck pain. I get the pain from like here and it radiates up into my temple and into my head. It's, it's, it's a lot. Uh, but yeah, this, it's not like fixing it, but it definitely helps. So yeah, I've been liking that a lot. And I never even realized, yeah, a little bit of concealer on there, that's fine. I never realized that this was also like a thing. You see this little like disc here? I thought it was just like the handle, but apparently you use it to like slap yourself on the face, which I don't tend to use that often, if, if ever. But like you can do it, I think you can do it in your cheeks. And I'm just like, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll do it if it, I haven't noticed any benefits from this. I mostly notice the benefits from this thing. Um, 
but I'll take it. But yeah, I've had this for a while, but I never like fully committed to using it, but I've been using it most days now and it has definitely helped. Uh, I think it is, I don't think it's like crazy, crazy pricey, but it is a little bit more up there, but you can also get very, very similar sort of things. Just look for like a facial massager and look for something like this. Um, loads of places will do them. But yeah, it's very, very useful. And you can do it on your neck as well. And it's just like, oh God, it's just like a massage for your face basically. Next, I want to give a very, very quick shout out to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, which so many people love. I know you've probably heard so much about it already. It's a good lip liner. Like, they are pricey, but it's just, it's just, it's a good lip liner. But it's mostly the colour that I've loved. Obviously, I like more of a pinky lip these days. And essentially, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, maybe a little bit. I have a scar here on my lip. I've used it a little bit already. But if I, like, try and rub it away, can you see? I have a little scar, I mean it, it, it's literally just like hidden by this lip liner. Maybe there, I feel like I'm just like looking into the viewfinder, like looking into your soul right now. Yeah, a little bit of a scar here. I just fill this in when I'm like not really wearing any makeup. I've just been filling this in with this lip liner and just kind of like slightly blending it out. Because it's not like the exact colour of my lips, but if I just do a little flush of it and then go over the top with like a lip balm or something, it works really well but yeah i just been covering up that little scar because i don't know what it is it's like become more prevalent recently and i don't like it and i've even been thinking about getting like a lip blush tattoo i don't want like full on like lined lips or like you know some people are really good with it i feel like i would look a bit ott with it uh but yeah i just i want to kind of just like have that scar filled in because I don't like it and I'm always filling it with pencil. So for now, this is really, really good. Let me know if any of you guys have tried it. I've spoken to a few people that look really good and have heard loads of good things um, about what they do. But the only downside is, like, if they were just like, yeah, we can just, like, colour over that, no problem. I'd be like, okay, cool, I'll do it tomorrow. But you kind of have to have it, like, all over your lips so that it's all one colour. But I quite like the colour of my natural lips. So I don't want to like change them too much and I also don't want them to be like really lined or anything so I don't know let me know what you guys think uh, I'm not like I'm not like fully set on doing anything yet but it is an idea because um, I just don't like this scar and it's just I don't know I can't get rid of it oh my god get this if you have it's like what is that on it it's like paint on it if you have thick hair long hair, if you just can't be bothered to dry your hair, if you're just basically lazy, this is so great. I also use, I don't have it anymore, it's the Neil & Wolf uh, blow dry spray. This one's from Color Wow. it's a speed dry blow dry spray. And basically this cuts your blow drying time by like half. It's so great. Doesn't leave your hair greasy or dry or anything like that. It doesn't have any alcohol in it. It literally just reduces the time it takes to blow dry your hair game changer so definitely definitely recommend that and then also the neil and wolf one the neil and wolf one though smells like perfume it's amazing it smells like a perfume that i used to have from Givenchy, andrew dimon Ange dimon something like that don't know if they still do it actually they've probably just continued it because i swear everyone like i feel like the world's got a vendetta against me and every time i fall in love with a the perfume they're like we're gonna we're gonna discontinue that you like it? No, sorry, you can't ever get it again. Uh, but anyway, smells like the Givenchy perfume that I love. Uh, so that's really, really good as well. I'll leave a link to that down below as well. But yeah, this has been really, really good too. Okay, a couple more things to go. Another little random thing. I got this in a PR package recently. And oh my God, best thing ever. It's this little working camera. And you'll probably see little clips in a vlog coming very, very soon. But look, I'll give you a sneak peek of my office. Like, can you even see that? What if I like, I do this? Oh, oh, hello there. Wait, angle properly. Hi, most flattering thing in the world, but I have been loving this and it's like fully functional. You have a little micro SD card in the side and then they also gave me like a little USB thing to put like the micro SD card in. So, I can just film like these fun little vlog clips, like little like montage clips with this thing. It's just a load of fun. Um, and I don't actually know where they got it from, uh, but I will find it online and link it down below because it, it's just a bit fun. Next, I want to give a quick shout out to these things here. Probably doesn't really look like much to you guys. 
yeah, it doesn't really, it looks more like teeth whitening strips, but these are basically little tiny sticky tabs to use with press on nails. And I have figured out a hack with these. I've tried them out before and they never really stuck, but I basically use like an alcohol wipe before. And then I also use them on the nails as well to essentially just get rid of any oils on them, stick these tabs on and then stick the nails straight on. And these will last me like I've had these on now. Like they're a bit roughed up because I've been doing my DIY stuff. But I've had these on for four days and they are, they're pretty, they're pretty much on. There's maybe like a little bit of a give in like a couple of them, but they're just these little tabs. They don't damage your nails or anything like that. If you guys saw one of my recent videos, you will have seen that I went through like a rough patch with my nails to say the least. Um, and so, yeah, I've just been using the little press on things recently, especially when doing my DIY, because I've been like taking my nails off, putting them back on, like when I've been going out and stuff. And then when I'm doing DIY, I've been taking them off. It just means that I'm not having to like rip the glue off, take my nails off, ruin the nails or anything. I can just continuously reuse them using these tabs. So before I wasn't really sure on them, but now I've been using them with like alcohol wipes and there's like a nail prep thing that you can use as well. Uh, I've been using them with that and they stay on so much better. So if you guys want like temporary nails, maybe if you can't wear them like all the time for work or something, these are actually really good. Just use them with like an alcohol wipe or something before to like clean your nail. So now let's end on a couple of makeup -y bits. If you guys saw one of my recent videos, you will have seen that I tried out the new Be Perfect Cronzer and it's so great. This is amazing. I don't have it on right now, but I've had it on so much recently. You need the tiniest amount. Like I've actually used this so much, but it doesn't even look like it. It is one of the best cream bronzers I have ever tried. Ever, ever, ever. It is so, so nice, so lightweight, doesn't clog your pores, blends out so, so easily, whether it's on like a full face of makeup, a little bit of a skin tint, or like no makeup at all. It, it's just such a good product. If you guys like cream bronzers, I actually, again, even if you don't like cream bronzers, because I'm not the biggest fan of them ever, um, try this out, because it's also pretty affordable, and they have a bunch of different colors as well, and it's just honestly like one of the best I've ever tried. So, shout out to you, be perfect. This is such a good product. And then last but not least, again, another product that you guys will have seen me try out recently. It's from Rimmel. I love their kind and free range. I wasn't sure what I would think about it. I wasn't sure if it was necessarily up my street, but oh my God, like the, um, the powder that they do is great. The concealer is pretty nice, but this skin tint is amazing. So when I was clearing out my makeup, I had like a bunch of stuff that was obviously like giving to my friends and family and stuff. And I gave one of these to one of my best friends, Sophie, and she has been loving it. She even like said to me the other day, she was like, Steph, that product that you gave me, like the Rimmel one, amazing and she was like look at my skin and her skin's like amazing anyway but it looked insane and it was this and so that made me want to go and use this again and i used it yesterday and honestly it's so so nice like this with the cream bronzer from be perfect is such a good combination it's like the most dewy natural looking like perfect skin you don't have to have perfect skin to use it it just makes your skin look look pretty much flawless just do a little tiny bit of like spot concealing if you do have a few blemishes and it's just, it's stunning. It's so, so good, obviously affordable. And uh, it's, what does it even say? It says that it's vegan. Um, it's a skin tint foundation and I have mine in the shade golden beige. But yeah, it says that it blurs imperfections, which I would say it does. It has vitamin E and B5 in it. And yeah, it's just a really, really good product. Like I know some of the products I've mentioned today are a little bit more up there in price, but this, if you want to try a new base product, especially for like spring and summer and stuff, try this. All right guys, so those are some of my favorite products as of late and obviously one of my huge favorites recently is my new office and I feel like I feel like I'm showing you but I'm also not showing you like there's a lot of other cool things going on. I built a desk, like there's a lot of cool stuff. Uh but yeah, obsessed with the office. Can't wait to show you guys and uh, thank you for being patient with me whilst I've been kind of MIA. I will probably kind of continue to be MIA, not MIA. Should I say it MIA again? But I'm probably not gonna be like fully back into things over the next few days. You will see a few more pre-filmed videos from me, but basically once I'm back, I intend on being back. Uh, I intend on, you know, having my rebrand in my new office, going like head first into TikTok, all of the above, doing reels. Like that's why I've also kind of like set all of this up so I can just be in like a nicer workplace that's like, I can use like natural light and just get my phone out and just make TikToks and stuff. It sounds like so simple and also kind of silly, but um, yeah, I feel like I've just been doing loads of work behind the scenes and now all I need to do is actually just like take the plunge 
and just do it and kind of have like a fresh start with everything. So anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it here once again. If you guys do wanna check out Skin and Me, then you can get your first three months for just $14.99, which is 40% off if you use my code, which is on screen now and also down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more of me because I upload all the time, all, oh my God, all the damn time normally. Like ignore the past month all the damn time uh, and turn on notifications if you haven't already so you can be notified every time I upload. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you, bye. Look how nice my new office looks though. Look at it. My little desk here, my chair, my mirror, which needs, it needs a bit of a clean actually.